So, Mr. Brownrick and Mr. Smetan, let us summarize what we have about pouring oil onto water. First of all, we have the old Roman reports of seamen stilling the waves in a storm. What else do we have, Mr. Smithers? Metan, not Smithers. Portuguese fishermen returning to the shore were pouring a bottle of oil or two onto the sea when the waves went high, not to get water into the boat. A captain told me it was practice of the Bermudans when fishing and the surface was ruffled by the wind to put some oil onto the water to see the fish and on the way to Louisbourg. The wakes of two of the ships were remarkably smooth. It was caused by the greasy water the cooks had emptied into the sea. With all that experience, there should be some truth behind it. But none of it is ever mentioned in our books on philosophy. <laughs> Why is that? It is just like our scientists were too careful not to blame themselves by picking up inspirations from everyday life. <laughs> and so, we should do our own experiments, right now. We need a place with a pond and some wind. There is a windmill pond at Clapham Common. Or maybe the long pond is even the better choice. Some oil is here. What else would we need? A teaspoon? All right, gentlemen. Let's get over to Clapham right away. They said it has a high pollen count out there today. Clubmoss. Common clubmoss. This would be common clubmoss at Clapham Common. <coughs> what the dust. Now let me take the oil. Here we are. Ah, that's great. Half a teaspoon covers a quarter of the pond. And it's getting so clear and so smooth. It was a perfect weather, with a slight wind and all the dust. Gentlemen, let us analyze the results right after lunch. I know we all feel the analysis is the most exciting part of the whole experiment. With a known volume of oil and the area that also can be measured, we can calculate the thickness of the layer to be one nanometer. Assuming the molecules are spheres in a monolayer, we can even count them. There are 10 to the 21 per cubic centimeter. A better way to measure the molecules is to weight the substance. With a specific mass of the oil, we can derive the mass of a single molecule. Later, to measure a number of molecules, a mole will be defined as a mass of a fixed number of molecules. These are 6.0221 times 10 to the 23 molecules. What a number is that! It must be a global constant. From any extension that I dial this number, with the 23 as the area code, I always reach the same person, Mr. Avogadro. So it's his number, Avogadro's number. You know, you can ruin the whole story with jokes like that. Now, gentlemen, I think this kind of basic research goes very well together with a good sense of humor. Gentlemen, it was really a great time together with you, with very fruitful results that shall be kept. I'll put everything together in a letter to you, Mr. Brownrigg, and I'll set you on the copy, Mr. Smetton. <laughs>